the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of OP Prison and today we are chilling here with a bunch of fans. We're all over here sitting in my little pool. This is my mini pool right now. I haven't upgraded to a massive pool yet. I'm not that OP. But uh, as you guys can take a look around, if you guys can take a look at the background, uh, ignore all the people dancing around me. I've kind of slowly started to uh, upgrade all of my house stuff. And um, in the last episode, I kind of just, uh, I'm not really sure what, what exactly I'm doing yet. But as you guys can see, I'm kind of uh, slowly starting to organize this house and try to make it look a lot more beautiful. I gave Kyle the bomb access to my uh, plot because uh, he's been very, very helpful. And he likes to help me build and whatnot. So he's been helping me put up the walls. So we'll probably make this place look amazing eventually but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead right before we get into the episode and into the topic of discussion today we are actually going to uh sort out some of our chests i've been doing a little bit of chest sorting recently uh just to kind of get um a little bit more situated i guess you could say and um as you guys can see uh, let me show let me show this right off the bat right before we even start let's uh oh my gosh i need like a dump chest i need to really really uh get together with organizing stuff because i just get i just have so many items and i'm not really sure what exactly to do with them um let's go ahead and head down here so this is my little donation room i showed you guys this in the last episode and let's see what people have donated so far all right let's look at the first chest everybody knows that i love my bottles of enchanting so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those i need to actually empty out my inventory first before i can uh before i can uh what's it called start start this episode look at this i've got so i've got three chests here that will be dedicated to just my enchanting bottles from you guys you guys are amazing i'm probably gonna end up filling those up really quick i need to move these block blocks of gold very very soon but we'll do that another time we don't really have time to do that right now but i've gotten a lot of donations you guys all of you guys who play with me on the server are just kind of donating a lot of stuff you guys freaking amazing pickaxes god pickaxes you got some enchanting bottles golden apples you got a little bit of everything here so thank you guys if you guys have donated or if you guys have donated to my little uh my little donation hopper over here thank you guys quick shout outs to every single one of you guys here with my hoppers thanks so thank you for that thank you thank you thank you so uh for today's episode we're gonna be doing a little bit of um not really sure i think i'm just gonna keep on mining i need to i mean i need to refill my diamond shop because my diamond shop here are slowly starting to get empty so I, i'm gonna need to actually um uh, fill those up so we're gonna talk about a couple of subjects i saw a lot of uh actual a, a lot of really really good topics that you guys wanted me to talk about so we'll kind of uh, brush upon a little bit of those i guess you could say and uh one of the comments told me not to try to sell stuff at op shops because it, it'll make the series go by too quick and i kind of agreed with that so i thought that the only way that i will be ranking up right now uh hey everyone so I'm, I'm currently ranked W and I'm going to do that whenever um, I do, whenever I'm, I try to get to Z. I'm going to try to do it only by using my own shop. So I have a bunch of emerald blocks here and that is the only way I will be making money other than the, either these shops or the shop sell signs themselves. So I'm going to try to make it a little bit harder on myself and not use OP shops just because that'll kind of make the episodes go too short and I agreed with the guy who commented that. So thank you for your uh, quick suggestion. So right before this video starts and right before we talk about this topic we're gonna give a quick shout out to super jippo because he uh he donated me some stuff uh super jippo kyle the bomb uh cami kazi you guys all donated me some stuff and there was one more person i forgot his name um i forgot it was like yoav i think it was yoav so thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you guys for supporting the series and uh we're gonna go ahead and continue to kind of just do whatever today so we're gonna go ahead and empty my inventory so i can go to um kyle's uh one of kyle's uh plots so we can start to mine some stuff to fill up our shops to make some money but ph kyle the bomb all right so we're gonna go ahead and mine here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start my topic of discussion for today. So we're gonna go in ahead and start this off with, um, let me see, let me scroll through my notes here real quickly. Hold on guys. Um, where did it go? I totally lost where I was gonna go. Um, 
do, 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 do. Okay, hold on. Let me refresh that. Let me refresh that page. Excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty. Where is the topic that I was about to talk about? I had this planned out, and now I can't find it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Best recording software. I talked about that in the last one. Um... Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what I was going to talk about. I had such a good topic to talk about. I'll probably end up remembering sometime in the middle of this video. Oh yeah, so one of the things that people were asking me um, was about like questions about the Dynasty PvP server. So if you guys are aware, I am the head admin of the Archon. And um, I got offered a job by Kobe, who's also the owner of the Archon. And we started a business together, um, and they hired me to do the staff as well. So I just basically have the same position on the on Dynasty than I do on the Archon. So I am going to be 100% dedicated to both servers, and I'm just kind of doing it because it is my job to do so. And I'm not leaving the Archon, guys. So for those of you who are watching my faction series and love playing factions with me, or love playing all these series with me, don't worry, guys. I am not leaving I'm staying right where I am I love factions green and I love everybody that I'm playing with on there so I'm kind of just um that's exactly kind of what I am going to be sticking with I'm not really going anywhere I'll still be around I'll be on both servers but I'll still be on Archon more because obviously that is my server that I record on and that is one of my favorite servers to play on so I'm gonna I'm just gonna stay there guys so don't worry too much about it um, I'm staying right where I am, no, wor no worries, I'm not leaving guys, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today um, regarding that, so don't worry, I'm not leaving the Archon guys, for all you guys who are worrying and spamming my comments, like, are you leaving? I'm not leaving guys, don't worry. <laughs> uh, there was one YouTube topic that I wanted to talk about today, and uh, I forgot what it oh, I remember, I remember now, it was networks. So in a couple of episodes ago, I talked about connecting to a network. And uh, kind of uh, using what, what networks are and kind of how they benefit you and how they can actually help your channel and uh, how they can actually hurt your channel so it's really it's a it's a kind of a two-way street really and um, I'm gonna try to explain to the best of my ability what I mean by all of that and um, message Kyle that's high enough. so yeah we're gonna try to talk about as much as we can about networks and all of that good stuff um, but message okay so there we go so the thing about networks there's I'm, I'm kind of gonna brush upon like small little parts of networks in general and then uh, some commonly known networks and then some networks that I can that I should like kind of recommend for you guys and um, I need to kind of warn you guys as well because okay so th the thing about networks is most networks like a majority of the big networks they basically uh, they try to hold you under a contract so whenever you sign up for a network make sure you read your contract very 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 carefully because if you do not read your contract you guys will end up getting stuck with the network for a bunch of like years or a bunch of months and you guys might not want to do that so you you guys want to do your research before you sign up for a network and make sure you guys are signing up for exactly what you want to do uh, network wise because there's some networks that will contract you for three years and then it's impossible for you to switch ne switch networks and then there's a lot of stuff that kind of has to do with that so honestly guys the best bet that you guys want to do right before you guys even start to consider networks is do your research Google is your friend in this situation and honestly guys just Google you top YouTube networks and um, you guys you will find a whole list of networks that are you know YouTube partners and help uh, all their subscribers and help all their partners along with all of that good stuff so just make sure you guys do your research and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of options here of probably uh, one of the like the top most common networks around and that's actually um, I think that the best networks around right now are curse Paragon uh, full full screen is kind of okay I don't really know too much about them so you guys might want to do your research on those those three networks right there off the bat curse Paragon uh, there's there's also there's a there's a whole bunch just just make sure you guys do your homework do your research before you guys commit to one because you guys don't know obviously you guys might just want to skip over the terms and conditions but don't do that guys this is one of those things that you guys might not want to skip 
over. So that's kind of all the warnings that I'm giving you guys about networks in general. And the last thing that I kind of just want to talk about is, um, is the, what was I going to say? The last thing I really wanted to talk about was the networks. Um, like what do they do? Why do, why should I be in a network over, over somebody else like why is it worth being in a network so basically guys the thing about being a network is there's there's a lots of pros to being connected to a network and honestly one of the best ones is probably uh, exposure and what I mean by that is when you're part of a network you guys kind of have to um, when you're part of a network, you, you guys will be connected with a bunch of YouTubers who are either starting out or are already big. And there's some networks that allow you to communicate within each other. So you guys can kind of expand your connections that way if the other YouTubers that you're trying to contact can are like willing to, you know, collaborate with you. So it's really, it's kind of like a hit and a miss. And like not everybody wants to collaborate with young YouTubers. So it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword, I guess you could say. So it's, it's um, you guys kind of can take it to whatever you want. But that's kind of one of the pros that I saw when connecting to a network and uh, another another big uh, another big pro to being connected with a network is probably the scheduled upload so if you guys connect to any network you guys just request it through your through like your emailing system that you want scheduled uploads and what that does is you guys can plan uploads ahead of time and I love doing this I, I use this feature daily I schedule upload almost every single one of my videos so then I don't have to be there to actually manually upload it during certain times of the day and I just schedule upload it for the next day and it kind of basically does all the work for me after I record all I have to do is video edit and then all I have to do is upload it to YouTube and then it's basically just set from there so that's probably one of the best things about having a network guys is having scheduled uploads it's really really helpful especially if you guys are trying to be very very consistent with your channel and almost every single youtuber does it nowadays and if you guys don't schedule YouTube or if you guys don't schedule your videos ahead of time you guys are just missing out and it's one of those things that kind of can bring your it kind of can bring your channel into a whole new level. It's just one of those things that you need to keep in mind whenever these guys are just chilling on my chest over here. What's up, Shake Digger and Yo Ab? That was the other guy, Shake Donnie. They're just chilling in my hot tub, above my hot tub, actually. Uh, so yeah, so make sure if you guys want to do all that, just make sure you do all your research. Just check out all the possible networks. There are hundreds of different networks. Just make sure you know what you are signing up for. There's a lot of a small detail. So honestly, guys, if you guys are below the age of 18, ask your parents to come help you with uh, reading through all the contracts and all that because there's a lot of stuff that goes into contracts. And I don't want to misguide you guys and tell you that every network is going to be good for you guys. So just just make sure you do all your homework before you guys sign up for one and you guys should do fine you guys can't really go wrong with picking the network though all there's obviously networks that kind of are very very helpful in supporting a new channel and uh, just try to find those ones and as I said curse full screen paragon those are bent pixels even you guys can there's a lot of networks that are really really helpful in those in those terms of things so just make sure you guys do your research and that's kind of the main bulk of the topic that I wanted to talk about with you guys today and I'm kind of just gonna go ahead and ramble on about OP prison in general and what I plan on doing in this series and maybe you guys can give me some advice on this so um, in the past two episodes, I've kind of been focused on building my shop slash my uh, plot. I've been working on my plot a lot, trying to make it look a lot more presentable because a lot of people visit my plot now because of all of the uh, updates that I've been doing and I've been playing on the server a lot offline, like not recording, just kind of talking to everybody and it's a really, really fun server to come play on. So make sure if you guys haven't already, come check it out. The IP is always in the description and if I forget to, I'll end up adding it into the description after a couple of hours or whatnot. But yeah, go ahead and come check it out guys. It's really 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 worth it in my opinion And I've got my my shop slowly building over here And uh, I want to make this house like into a two-story house lots of decorations lots of that good stuff And that's what I'm planning on doing guys. So uh, Yeah, that's basically I filled up one of my shop chests. I think this is full too. So there we go two shop chests Hopefully people start to buy stuff 
What's my balance right now? 300, what's it? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's 749,000. 523 million. I have 32,523,749,131. All right, so basically, that is that sounds like a lot of money, but if I do slash rank up, I need another 9.4 billion in order for me to rank up. So I'm on my way. I need another, I think it's 45 billion total in order to rank up, and that is the reason why I've been trying to sell these shops and I'm, I'm gonna follow your guys' suggestions guys I am NOT going to use or sell any of my blocks in other people's OP shops the only way I'll sell blocks is either or to get money is to sell it in my own shop or to sell it at warp sign shops <laughs> so whoa what the heck was that sound thank you guys for watching today's episode of OP prison hopefully I enlightened you guys a little bit about networks just make sure you guys do your homework before you guys do all of that stuff and uh, just ensure that you guys know what you're getting into before you guys sign up for a network yourself. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's try to hit another 100 likes on today's OP Prison episode. If you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my little fans that are just chilling with me today. Thank you for watching today's video. I've said that like 50 times. This is D-Field, and we will see you guys later.